Misha, Misha, Misha. That about sums up the season of Celebrity Big Brother 3. Because I feel like this whole season has been about a lot of people helping Misha get to the end of this game to win and not take her out of the game. This will probably be my final update on the season. The finale airs Wednesday night, where Todrick likes to make the final two and loses against Misha or Cynthia. Likely Misha at this point. I mean, outside of that, there's a whole lot. Not, there's not a whole lot more to update on. Todd had her his chance to um, stay in the game. He did win that first veto, stayed in the game, but the double took him out. So we are. I mean, if anybody is hoping on Cynthia to win the final three H O H. They're going to have to put in a lot of prayers because Cynthia has shown herself to not be very good at any of these challenges or the strategic game in general. Honestly, who knows? I think at this point it's pretty clear Misha or Todrick will win the final HOH. But will Todrick cut Misha? I doubt it at this point. Maybe. He's, like I've been saying this whole time, he's lost all the jury votes why not lose another one actually i think misha would vote for him to win though is the thing because i think misha has nothing against todrick and they've been playing together i feel like she would respect the game move misha has been playing the game so i can't disrespect her game i mean it's not her fault that people wouldn't take her out of the game when they had the shot and they were just constantly working with her instead like todd had a shot when he was hoh should have at least taken out todrick but he didn't, so what more can you say? I know Twitter continues to make sure the jury knows all about Todrick's wrongdoings and make sure he gets no votes if he makes the end. Twitter will keep doing their due, dil due diligence to make sure Todrick doesn't win. I mean, he doesn't have a shot. He hasn't had a shot from the beginning. That's still one of my biggest problems with these producers for the US Big Brother is that you can always tell how the game is going to play out the first few episodes or the first week of the game. I don't know why they produce similar seasons almost every single year. And they could break this game up and make it more interesting if they actually cared enough to do so. But clearly they must not care enough to do so because we get similar seasons all the time and this was no different we always see a big alliance usually on most big brother scenes a big alliance dominates the whole game usually most of the alliance makes it to the end last season the cookout was the first alliance to fully make it to the finals themselves all six of them but if production really wanted to break up the game trust me they could all production would have to do was keep paranoia super high in that house to break up these big alliances but they they refuse to do that for whatever reason and then we get the same results there's plenty of ways to create paranoia with powers or in confessionals but they just don't do it and i don't understand why it seems like production wanted the final two to be todrick and misha this whole time and todrick to lose whatever it was a boring throwaway season i doubt we get any more celebrity big brother seasons after this one why would we the ratings were subpar i think they were okay at times but the casting just wasn't there for it anyway and they don't seem to want to put a lot of budget in the casting allegedly they want to put budget into their new the challenge cbs which will have players from big brother the amazing race and survivor but hearing some of the casting for that show doesn't make me excited for that either because Big Brother just ha doesn't have good casts. So some of the people they want to cast from regular Big Brother for the new The Challenge doesn't sound great if it's true. Everything about Big Brother is always a downer when it comes to the US version. But thankfully the Canadian version is starting next week. We should be getting the cast reveal for that possibly as soon as tomorrow. We'll see if that is the case. I always look forward to Big Brother Canada because they show BBUS 
that you can actually have good seasons. Who would think that you could actually put in good twists sometimes? They actually cast very well, and it's not always the same story over and over, even though it almost became that until season nine. Season nine kind of changed that and had a split house at least, even though one side kind of did end up dominating towards the end, but whatever. BB can, the feeds are at least entertaining. The episodes last season sucked too, but I will hopefully be able to recap the feeds on BB can going forward. As for Celebrity Big Brother 3, it's been a big, giant bowl of who cares.